Good morning, everybody, and hello. I am re-recording this video because I looked back and the last video, you could really tell I was in pain and it wasn't fun to do and it wasn't, it wasn't enough for you guys. So I'm gonna re-record this video. <clears throat> so hello friends and welcome back to Moonside Psyche. This, well, last week, uh, we were talking about nutrition, and this is the video that I promised. This is the first half of the video um, set, and today's this video is going to be about nutrition, and I'm going to break it down really some of the um, statistics, and I will link all of my. Um, sources down in the description below. So as far as health, I'm going based off of the standard American diet. That is the foods that we eat in most Western countries, um, including America, Canada, and parts of Europe. Um, and I want everyone to realize that I'm not encouraging um, like a, a fad diet situation that is never my aim, that's never my goal. Most of the time those things are bad for you, you're still not getting the nutrients you need, and you're hurting yourself really, you know. Um, those crash diets, fad diets, they really rely on you limiting the things that you can have and not really focusing on the best foods that can go into your body and really they tend to be counterproductive. Excuse me. You, know, you, you lose 10 pounds in a month on this diet, and then when it's over, you go, oh, I can have cupcakes, and then you, you binge on those things and you end up gaining 15 pounds on the other side. So when I say a diet, I really just mean the foods that you eat. <laughs> okay, so. So the standard nutrition, the standard American diet mainly consists of a lot of red meat, dairy products, processed and artificially sweetened foods, and an enormous amount of salt. <laughs> and that coupled with the lack of fruits, vegetables, fish, legumes, and whole grains really creates the issue here. A 2010 study, by the way, I have my notes, so that's why I'm not making direct eye contact throughout a lot of this video. Um, a 2010 study by the National Cancer Institute found that three out of four Americans do not eat a single piece of fruit on a daily basis. Nine out of ten Americans don't meet the daily recommended um, intake of vegetables. Uh, on a weekly basis, 99% of Americans don't reach the minimum recommended amount of whole grains that we're supposed to eat, and the typical American diet consists of about 2,200 calories per day, with 50% being from carbohydrates, 15% protein, and 35% fat. These ratios don't sound so bad until you factor in the kinds of food being represented here. When you think about American food, you know, what what are the foods that come to mind? Probably things like cheeseburgers and pie and milkshakes, and these are just not quality foods. Um, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, 30% of what we eat derives from some sort of animal source, whether that be meat, dairy, eggs, cheese. 57% um, comes from processed plant foods, and only 11% comes from whole grains, beans, fruits, vegetables, and nuts. And this diet is making us sick, and in actuality, it's killing us. The CDC cites 
heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes as four out of the 10 leading killers of Americans. Four out of 10 of the top causes of death in America can be prevented and reversed with the proper diet and exercise, but mostly diet, even if that's the only part that you can change. Our diet plays a major role in that. That's not to mention correlation between hypertension and, uh, and obesity and diabetes type 2, which can cause other health-related issues, and that is totally linked to your diet. The good news is we can change this by eating a mostly plant-based whole food diet we are giving the body the nutrients that it needs to function properly and lower the risk of obesity which raises the chances of the aforementioned health issues and whole foods are loaded with fiber vitamins minerals and important phytochemicals Phytochemicals are chemicals that live in plants. So things like antioxidants are phytochemicals. And when you break down your plant food and it gets processed, you're losing and damaging those, those compounds. So a lot of things like cereal is a big one, you'll see fortified foods. Now, it's great that they're trying to re-add nutrients to the equation. However, most of the time, these fortified foods are not the same. They don't have the same nutrient-dense quality. They lose all of the natural synergy of the food that you're eating. When nature makes an apple, all of the things, all of the chemicals, all of the nutrients in that apple are balanced specifically in a way that's going to be the most bioavailable and accessible to you. And, you know, once you break that down and you make your apple juice or applesauce, you, you then lose that and you've got to add it back in. And it's not the same ratio and it's not, it's just not what your body needs. And most of the time it's not going to be absorbed anyway. So the nutrients that they're adding these you're not getting <laughs> in conclusion no matter who you are or what body type you have if you're putting good food into your body you're going to be healthier you're going to have more energy you're going to feel better and unless you have a specific health concern, there's no reason why this changing this diet isn't feasible and it can be easy and it can be delicious. You know, no one's saying that you have to go eat grass, which is something I hear a lot from people who I give this advice to. My friends often joke that I eat rabbit food and um, I'm here to say that's simply not true. So the second part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make date, date energy bliss balls. They, you've heard them under many different names probably, but um, they're a great snack. I don't feel bad about eating them any time of day, breakfast, dessert, middle of the day snack. Um, they're super yummy, super packed with nutrients, they're little fat bombs in the best way possible. So I will show you guys how to make those, and then I will just put a couple pictures of the foods that I eat, some of the foods that I eat on a daily basis, and I can point you all to my personal Instagram if you want to see more of my food pictures. Um, if you haven't already, 
make sure you check out my Facebook page. I update there fairly regularly. That is probably where I'm the most active and that is where you will be able to get the most direct line of contact with me if you want to suggest discussion topics for videos and so much more. So you can check out Moonside Psyche on Facebook and Moonside.Psyche on Instagram. And of course, this is on YouTube. And I look forward so much to next week's topic. And I just can't wait. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. All that jazz. I just want y'all to know that as soon as I stopped recording, that bird stopped tweeting. So it was just here for y'all. That was just for y'all. Okay? Okay. Cool.